most of us just think of the immune system as fighting infections, right? But you're saying actually we shouldn't be thinking about our immune system just as fighting infections. Why? I think it's completely clear that's not what it's for. Why would you get inflammation from social stress? Like people who are, for example, scared of losing a spouse to cancer have inflammation levels that exceed diabetes or cancer. If you lose a night of sleep, you have the same inflammation level as if you had diabetes. Why would that happen if the immune system was for fighting infections? It just doesn't make sense. I think the reason we think of it that way is because the way we've discovered its actions is through its large action. So imagine if you're an alien on Mars, you're looking at what's happening on Earth and you can only see like big movements of people. You might conclude that the government is for fighting war, but that doesn't mean that the government's for fighting war. If you only see the big actions because you don't have a good enough telescope, then maybe that's what you conclude. So the hypothesis that we are working on is that that's exactly what's happening with the immune system because we've only had the experimental tools to see it mount immune responses to pathogens, to diseases. We think that it's what it's for. Whereas in fact, that may be just 1% or, or 2%, an important 2% of what it does and the rest of the time it's more like a big bureaucracy whose job it is to fix potholes make sure kids can go to school and yes occasionally imprison criminals but mostly it's like potholes in schools